Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students in this video, we are going to learn about the acid base reactions of Grignard reagent. Students, you know the general formula for Grignard reagent which is RMGX. So this is the general formula for Grignard reagent. So that is alkyl magnesium halide. So students in this usually R group will be having partial negative sign. So R group has partial negative sign and magnesium will be having partial positive sign. So R will be usually produced in the form of carbanion R minus that is carbanion. So uh, Grignard reagent is a good source of carbanion and this can act as nucleophile as well as base. It can act as nucleophile as well as base. So now we are going to study about acid base reactions of Grignard reagent. That is in the reaction we are going to see that Grignard reagent will be acting as a base. So when you add acid to Grignard reagent you can see acid base reaction taking place. Okay students, so we will take some examples and we will learn acid base reactions of Grignard reagent. So let us take first example. So here you can see CH3MgBr that is methyl magnesium bromide. So this is a Grignard reagent GR. GR is Grignard reagent. It is reacting with water. So students here uh, Grignard reagent will be acting as a base. So you have to take acid here. So here in water you know that H will be acidic hydrogen here. So here this will be having positive sign and OH minus will be having negative sign. And here you know that alkyl group will be having partial negative sign. So now what happens here? So methyl group. So this methyl group will attack. This is having negative sign. So it will attack positive species. So methyl group will attack this H plus ion. So this uh, electrons will shift to OH. So it becomes OH minus ion. So what is the product you are getting here? CH3 plus hydrogen becomes CH4. So CH4 is nothing but methane. Plus what is the other product? Mg. So Mg is having positive sign when, when the bond breaks between this. So Mg plus Br. So you can see Mg Br and then OH minus. So here we can write this like this Mg Br Br and then OH. So this is the second product. So now we will see the second example. So again here this is the Grignard reagent methyl magnesium bromide. It is reacting with alcohol. So students in alcohol hydrogen this hydrogen is acidic hydrogen that is it will be having partial positive charge therefore this methyl group will attack this H plus ion as, as a result what you will get is methane plus what is the other product here Mg Br and then here you have R dash O minus. So you can write here O R dash. So this is the second product. Next will be, we will go for next example. So methyl magnesium bromide reacting with HCl. So here H will be plus Cl will be minus. So again methyl group can attack this H plus. So it will become CH4 plus Mg Br Cl. So this will be the next product. Next is methyl magnesium bromide reacting with sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid will split like this. That is H plus and H 
HSO4 minus ion. H plus ion and HSO4 minus ion. So again methyl group will attack this H plus. So it will become CH4 plus Mg plus Br HSO4 minus. So you can write even like this that is Mg plus Br and this is HSO4 minus. So this will be the second product. We will go for the next example. So here you can see we have taken a Grignard reagent having a double bond. In the alkyl group uh, there is a double bond. So now this will be having negative charge. Partial negative charge. So this will, this part will see here D2O, deuterium oxide. So deuterium oxide, this is similar to water H2O, instead of H2O we have taken D2O. So it will abstract one D plus ion. So as a result what you will get here, CH2 double bond CH, CH to this D will be connected. So the other product will be Mg. Cl and here OD. So this will be the product. Next example. So again this group will attack H plus ion and OH minus ion you have here. So this will attack only H plus ion. So as a result you will be getting CH2 double bond CH2. See here CH one more hydrogen becomes CH2 plus Mg Cl NO3. Next example. So this is the Grignard reagent and here we have taken phenol. So in phenol this will be acidic hydrogen. So now this group will attack this acidic hydrogen. So as a result what you will get? You will get CH2 double bond CH2 that is ethene plus so remaining will be here Mg plus Cl and this will be O minus. So we will go for the next example. So here this is the Grignard reagent treating with water. So again here this negative ion will attack H plus from here. That is this will be splitting as H plus ion and OH minus ion. So now the product will be what is this product? This product is benzene plus the other product will be Mg I and OH. So this will be the other product. So this is the acid base reaction of Grignard reagent. So students you should remember that Grignard reagent will be acting as a base. Okay this alkyl group it can act as nucleophile as well as base. So here the alkyl group is acting as a base. Therefore, when a base reacts with acid, so that is active hydrogen should be there. It abstracts this active hydrogen and it forms the product. So next, we are going to study about how many alkyl halides can be taken including stereoisomers. So students, a reaction will be given like this. What is this alkyl halide? When you are treating with magnesium in dry ether, Grignard reagent will be formed. Alkyl magnesium chloride is nothing but Grignard reagent. So this is Grignard reagent. A Grignard reagent is being formed. So when you treat that with alcohol and here you can see a propane is being formed. So here you should guess what is the R group. That is the question. Find alkyl group. Which alkyl group you have to take so that you will be getting propane as the 
product. So now what you can do is count how many carbon atoms are present here. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. So to, the, uh, to this carbon atoms you have to attach halogen which is present here. That is Cl. So this is one reactant. So the other reactant will be C, C, C and you can attach chlorine group here. So if you remove this chlorine then uh, actually when you react this uh, Grignard reagent with alcohol you know that it abstracts only the H plus ion. So chlorine will be replaced by H plus, uh, H, H plus ion. So these are the two uh, uh, rea reactants you can take to form this product. So I will show you one example how ex what exactly happens. So this is the first one. See three carbon atoms attached to one chlorine. So first step you are treating with magnesium in dry ether. So what happens is one, two, three carbon magnesium chlorine. This is the first step. So now this one you are treating with alcohol R O H. So now what happens is you know that alkyl group acts as carbon ion. So from here acidic hydrogen will be taken by this uh, carbon ion. So you will be getting 3 carbon and then hydrogen will be attached to this carbon. So here one hydrogen will be attached. So here CH3, CH2, CH2. So remaining this hydrogen. So it becomes CH3 which is nothing but propane. So here you can take two reactants. This one as well as this. So here also if you replace this chlorine with hydrogen you will be getting propane. So you can write totally two alkyl halides can be taken to get the product propane. So we will try for the second one. So here again you should find what is the R group. So product you see here how many carbon atoms are present? 1, 2, 3, 4. So write 1, 2, 3, 4. So to the last carbon attach one chlorine. So this will be one reactant. Second reactant will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So attach chlorine atom to second carbon. So here students this carbon becomes chiral carbon now. So because it is chiral carbon it can form plus and minus product. Two products will be obtained here. So totally how many products are there here? Check. So this is 1 and here 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So totally 3 reactants can be taken. That is 3 alkyl halides can be taken. So next third example. So count again here R group we are going to find out. So first step is it will be converted to Grignard reagent by treating with magnesium in dry ether. So again, second step you are treating with alcohol. So finally pentane will be formed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first step is to the first carbon attach one chlorine. So this will be one alkyl halide. Next is 1, 2, 3, 4. You can attach one chlorine atom to this carbon. So if you attach one chlorine to this carbon, this carbon becomes chiral. So now this forms plus and minus product. Then next will be again 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can attach one chlorine atom here. So this will be the next reactant. So next will be so here one alkyl halide and here total 2 and this is 3. So tot, uh, this is 1. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So totally here we can take 4 reactants or you can say 4 alkyl halides. So this is how we can find R groups 
if it is not given a product will be given you can guess the starting reagent that is which r group should be taken to get one particular product so students i hope uh, the concept is clear to you uh, still if you have any queries you can write in the comment box i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye